。各位喜歡閱讀我銷量原著英文小説嘅朋友呢，大家久違了啦。由於先排其他工作比較繁忙，我嘅原著英文小説《Rose and Flame》呢，未能繼續與大家見面，實在係抱歉之至。而家又嚟繼續為大家續寫啦。Well, dear readers of my English fiction, Rose and Flame, here is page thirteen, right ahead, and also read by the author Robert Xiaoliang himself. Rose and Flame, page thirteen. In the dawning mists, under the mountain of Yuling, there galloping a warrior figure of excellent horsemanship, and among the mud-plowing hoof movements, there sounded a kind of thundering loudness of metallic clattering, which broke the silence on the fine ripplings and the whisperings. Of the morning stream flowing, yes, a huge red stallion was flying towards a big dead trunk on the ground, which forced the animal to leap over. It was a beautiful jump, with movements waving its mane like violent flowing clouds, and its wide opening nostrils. Were bursting smokes of purple dust. What a picturesque scene of a lunging horse! It was very near to the foreground, but still not yet in sight because of the thick mist. In addition to the tram, tram, a big rush in the shrubs was heard, and now a sudden blast. Of the wind revealed the appearance of a fine-looking young man on the back of a tall stallion, which was rousing up a dusty storm. At this point, I believe I should introduce this amazing horse to you. His name was Red Hair, for there were no other better callings could be found. As far as his hair marking and speed were concerned, before it had become to the possession of his young warrior rider, Lu Bu, it was the apple of Dong Zhuo's eye. But since the latter was so eager to have a real powerful bodyguard and protector. Like Lu on his side, it was truly a big sacrifice for him to give away this precious animal. And additionally, a slain of his political opponent Ding Yuan, who was the foster father of this ruthless young man, of this ruthless young warrior. Would be done. To be continued. Thank you.